Hello everybody and um, welcome to Blarney Castle and Gardens and it's a lovely lovely day today here and uh, I wanted to talk about wildlife and biodiversity this week. What a lot of our visitors don't realise is for a location that's really on the doorstep of Cork City um, we have a huge range of wildlife actually in the estate nearly all of the Irish natives that you know traditionally would be in the locality are here and um, we like to manage the estate in such a way that encourages um, the wildlife and also try and I suppose educate the visitors about what, what is here. Um, one of the things that we have achieved recently is we've been accredited with the title of Wildlife Estate. This is a European landowner's title and uh, it, it's awarded to estates that manage, manage themselves really with the wildlife in mind. So it's about managing the farm and obviously the castle, the tourist areas, the woodlands, um, with consideration to the wildlife and trying to, I suppose, adapt the way we do things to either encourage or um, keep the wildlife that's there, but really so not to degrade the the biodiversity in any way. Um, now I'm standing actually in one of our wildflower meadows so this is why I wanted to start here. So right next to the castle alongside the river we've sown Irish native wildflowers and over the last five six years this is established into a meadow which um, is absolutely full of um, different insects, bees, butterflies, huge dragonflies, all sorts here to be found but right at the base of the castle alongside the river and um, then the river itself, we have trout, salmon, kingfishers, we have river lampreys which are becoming increasingly endangered um, and I want to bring you out to a couple of spots around the estate and talk about different areas and what we're doing. Um, while I'm here, just to my right, a lot of people ask about this particular tree. It's, um, it's not a native, it's um, swamp cypress um, but this time of year the colour obviously catches the eye. So. Rather than have endless um, messages coming in asking what it is, it's easier just to tell you now. So I'm going to head off now and uh, we're going to go down into the woods because I want to talk about some of the things we do to manage our woodlands. See you there. We're now standing in one of our native or semi-native woodland areas and um, it's kind of mixed oak ash woodland and there's large swathes of this throughout the estate and in fact quite a few areas of woodland outside the main estate in little pockets around Blarney which um, add to the overall I suppose the uh, the atmosphere and the greenness of the village in itself has uh, has reason to thank um, the estate in that sense but anyway um, you'll see there's a large tree behind me here this is the the skeleton the remnants of an old beech tree and it's completely hollow up the middle and it illustrates the importance of standing deadwood because this provides um, a whole ecosystem um, in itself. There's bats living in here, it could be potentially home for the woodpeckers which are moving in and um, a whole host and array of different species of insects can, can exist on this tree as it decays. And so throughout the woods we operate what's really a minimal um, interference. We will make safe when it's close to, um, I suppose, a road or an access path, but generally we discourage the um, invasives such as rhododendron ponticums or laurels and we encourage nature to, to take its course really. And um, again, so many good native species to be seen. We've got a lot of um, bird species as well. There's things like jays um, right through to the, the common buzzards here and um, the red squirrels and the thing is with the wildlife is I suppose this year has been that bit quieter and as a result we're getting to see a lot more whereas in the past it would have been disturbed perhaps um, before we got to see it now we're actually seeing things actively hunting and moving around um, we think we have barn, owl, barn owls around the castle um, there's kingfishers on the river and it's just wonderful to see all these things out and about. So the next bit I want to do is bring you down to the lake and show you our bird hide and um, I'll talk a little bit about that when we're there. Thanks. Okay so we're gonna head into the bird hide now. This 
This is another relatively new introduction. We wanted to um, really give the public something around the lake to access, get out onto the lake and be able to see the wildlife. And um, you can see it's a floating platform, so excuse the noises, um, but it brings us into this lovely, quiet, secluded corner where, you know, it's minimum disturbance for, for the animals on the lake, but we get the, the full benefit and um, we also have the floating island which was added to try to encourage nesting birds to, to nest in a safe environment and um, you can see there's, there's a lot of movement around the lake today um, with our family of resident swans across to the, the right on the other side and um, it's gone quiet now obviously but as we were approaching you could hear quite a lot of bird noise but it's such a peaceful location. It's oft, often you find people come and sit down in here and they end up staying a lot longer than they intend to. I'm also finding myself naturally lowering my voice just because of the atmosphere. Now, one of our aims is to try and educate our visitors a little. So we've just produced one little um, sign inside the bird hide which is one of several signs around the estate and it really just shows and illustrates some of the species you could expect to see either on or in the lake and um, all of these things are actually here it's not a case of us just uh, selecting random wildlife so it's it's always good to see people coming in and using these facilities and uh, i think it's added interest for the children as well and we have school groups coming now and that's something that we're trying to encourage again because in this day and age getting out into the environment and out in really in the outdoors is uh, more important than ever. I want to finish with another little view of the lake. I just want to show you one other little spot um, just to complete our, our video today. I wanted to finish up my tour today really just with this shot of what is one of my favourite areas um, to come for walks on the estate as we'd already covered my favourite walks but this is one of my favourite spots. So the view across to the, the Blarney house and then beyond that to my right is the boat house and our new floating jetty there as well. So plenty to see. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that little tour today and Please do feel free to send in any questions or indeed any suggestions for locations that you'd like us to cover or talk about. So thanks very much. Hope to see you in the gardens soon.